Hi there, today's video is about zero fuel weight. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what the zero fuel weight is and how do we use it throughout the operations on everyday life, okay? So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from paloclimb.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and if you're trying to become a better pilot or make your head around aviation, consider subscribing to the channel so you will not miss the next content. Before starting today's topic, I want to make sure that you leave in the comment below any question you might have throughout the video because for me it's very important you get 100% of the concept, okay? So let's start the today's topic, the zero fuel weight. What is the zero fuel weight? The zero fuel weight is the weight of your aircraft assuming that there is no fuel. Okay, so it's the weight of the aircraft, especially the weight inside the fuselage with the uh, passengers, with the bags, with the cargo, with the crew and everything. So it's the weight of the aircraft ready for takeoff but without the fuel, okay, the takeoff fuel. So the difference between the takeoff weight, okay, the weight that you've got on the threshold ready for takeoff and the zero fuel weight is actually only the takeoff fuel, okay. So if you take the zero fuel weight and you add the takeoff fuel, you're gonna get the takeoff weight, okay. There is a maximum zero fuel weight. The maximum zero fuel weight is a structural limit that is certified by the aircraft manufacturers, okay. So in the airplane manual, you're gonna have your maximum zero fuel weight and you cannot exceed that, okay. So your weight of your aircraft ready for takeoff but without the takeoff fuel has to be below the maximum zero fuel weight. In the flight plane on the LIDO system, you're gonna have a maximum zero fuel weight as a reminder that is zero fuel weight. Like for example, on the Boeing 737-800, approximately is 62 tons, okay? 62,000 kilograms is the maximum zero fuel weight. So on the LIDO flight plane, normally you have the maximum zero fuel weight there, then you've got the estimated zero fuel weight. The estimated zero fuel weight is the um, the zero fuel weight that is being calculated at the dispatch phases, okay? Because the guys on the dispatching office, they know what's the weight of the aircraft and they know how many passengers have booked the flight. So what they do, they take, off, they take the, the aircraft weight, they add the passengers that booked the flight and they can come up with an estimated zero fuel weight, which has to be below the maximum zero fuel weight. Okay, but then when you fly, when you're in a real life, okay, many passengers, they book the flights, but they don't fly. Okay, they book the flight maybe because it was cheap, but then they don't fly. In that case, your actual zero fuel weight, most of the time is below your estimate zero fuel weight, okay, and your actual zero fuel weight has to be below the maximum zero fuel weight, okay. This is a very important number because actually it tells you how, how many passengers and cargo you can bring on board, okay. So let's make a practical example, okay, the 737 has a zero fuel weight, which is more or less 62 tons, so let's call it 62 tons for easy calculations, okay, and then it has got a maximum takeoff weight of 78 tons approximately, okay, so the difference between the maximum zero fuel weight 62 and the maximum takeoff weight 78 is 16 tons, 16,000 kilograms, okay? However, the maximum fuel capacity of the Boeing 737, depending on the density, but should be around 21,000 kilograms, okay? So what happens is that if you load your aircraft to the maximum zero fuel weight of 62, okay, and then you put all the fuel you can around 21 tons, what will happen is that 62 plus 21 is gonna be 83 tons. And as you can see, since the maximum takeoff weight is approximately 78 tons, you will be above it, okay? So when you uh, making your calculation for takeoff, you have to think about all of this, okay? So in a flight that you need 21 tons to fly from A to B, which is a super long flight, okay? My career, the maximum weight that I've been carrying was around 19 tons, 19,700 kilograms, something like that. But anyway, if you need for any reason, you are doing a super long flight, you need 21 tons, you see there that there is a problem because you, you, your takeoff weight needs 21 tons. So your zero fuel weight has to be below the maximum zero fuel weight. I hope you like the video about zero fuel weight. If you like the video, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also go to paloclimb.com where you can subscribe for free power training content. I wish a great day and I'll see you soon.